Albuquerque fire is currently preparing for wildfire season and looks like it's going to be a busy one because of how dry and windy it has been here in New Mexico. Yeah, they say the window is just getting longer yeah. too and earlier. So there are a couple of exercises they do every year to make sure that they're ready to go. And this year they invited me to go along with them. Check this out. I right, got the really cool assignment for the day here, hanging out with some guys at AFR, and we're going to be doing some wildland training. It's required every year they got to go through this, this pack test. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Basically what you're going to be doing is carrying a 45 pound pack. You're going to walk around this track three miles, all right, and you're going to do that in 45 minutes, 45 seconds. So let's get started. Okay, so yeah, that is heavy. The 45 pound pack is no joke. You can really feel it weighing down the chest. Here's where we're walking, a three mile loop at Balloon Fiesta Park. No running is allowed either. My walking partner is Lieutenant Tom Ruiz. So we have literally just started yep. and it's it's a lot we can feel the the uh, the intensity of this weight and uh, the heart's racing it doesn't take long for you to start feeling it that's for sure yeah this is his 18th time doing this walk he and all crew members do it once a year it's also part of the cadet training so i have a question for you i'm not slowing you down at all am i <laughs> well um Probably should pick up the pace. <laughs> okay, all right, <laughs> let's do it. Ah, faster. We're still in our first lap too. Every step is felt in your shins and the soles of your feet, but it's a race against time. So wow. 2730 right now, we do the second lap. Okay, we're good. we're good. Two laps down, that means one more to go. And quick side notes, the time to complete this is normally 45 minutes, but we get a whole extra 45 seconds because we're in higher elevation. The final lap is almost over. So we just finished. 38 is our finishing time. Okay. So well uh, beneath that 45 uh, minute 45 second threshold. So that's pretty good, right? It is pretty good. A quick pace, as, as you can tell. Now that I've caught my breath, it's time to do fire shelter deployment drill. If by chance something goes catastrophically wrong, uh, a major wind shift, uh, fire behavior increase that we just did not anticipate, this shelter is our last resort for safety to get inside and to help protect us from that front. It's meant to take about 20 seconds, so, so here goes. What we do is go ahead and open the shelter. Okay. All right, pull it totally out of the box. Okay. All right, we're just tossing that out of the way. Pull the straps out. Okay. All right, open it up. Go ahead and check for your prospective hands right there. Yeah. Now use the wind. Turn around. Okay. Fall down at that point. You can spread out the shelter a little bit. You want that vapor change in there. If someone out there is watching this and it's like, that's what I want to do. How do they how do they get involved? So we just completed our open enrollment for the next uh, Academy Cadet class that's coming up, but we will be opening up another open enrollment here at the end of April. So if firefighting and wildland firefighting uh, seems like something you want to get interested in, please uh, look at our website. Uh, it's very self-explanatory and what you need to do to become a firefighter. So we're going to put some information on how to sign up for the next class at KOB.com under four links a little later this morning. I'm so glad that you did that. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, because I yeah. was talking to them about scheduling and I was like, I I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Colton's more fit than yeah, me. Yeah, if it was us, you know, we'd, we'd be riding along behind him in the fire truck <laughs> and I'd be sounding the siren. Yeah. That's about all I'm, yeah. I'm good for. I was asking him, I was like, how many people, you know, failed us have to redo it again? He says, not, it's, it's pretty rare that that happens. Yeah. And, and the thing is, you can't run. He said it's not allowed. You have to walk. Why? So I'm not sure. Well, well the because cases. they're going such right. long distances, <laughs> right. carrying such heavy gear when they're right. in the wildlands. So. Yeah. And he worked out some muscles he didn't know you had. So yeah. I was sore for a couple of days after that. 